Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS background color property. Background color property is used to specify the background color for any HTML element. Using the background color property, we can set or apply the background color for an HTML element. Various values that we can assign to background color property are we can assign a color name like directly we can write red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, magenta, gray, etc. We can also assign hex color value. I hope you remember while learning HTML, we discussed hexadecimal color values, how the hexadecimal number system is used to represent the color. Hash 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 indicates black color, hash FF, FF, FF indicates white color. Do you remember? If you don't know, please watch my HTML video tutorial series. Also, we can use RGB function. The first position is dedicated for red, second position is dedicated for green color and the third position is dedicated for blue color. In the first position or the first parameter if you give 0 indicates absence of red, 255 means full presence of red. Similarly in the second position if you give 0 absence of green, 255 means full presence of green. Similarly in the third position if you give 0 absence of blue color, 255 means full presence of blue color. There is one more function called as RGBA which is similar to RGB. First position for red, second position for green and third position is dedicated for blue color. Whereas the last position, the fourth position is dedicated for alpha. Alpha means transparency or opacity. There you can give a value from 0 to 1. Minimum is 0, maximum is 1. Let's see the demonstration and understand how we can use the background color property. Let me go to the notepad. Here you can see default.html page is open. It has already basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. In the head section, I have already written opening style tag and closing style tag. In the Chrome, default.html page is open. Title is set to CSS properties demo. In the body section, I am going to write some text, some text. Then I use br tag. I am going to copy that and paste it few times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that some text got displayed 7 times. What if you want to set the background color yellow to some text? How do you do that? One of the simplest way is using the HTML mark tag. Do you remember we discussed about the mark tag? Here, just before this sum, I am going to say opening mark tag and then at the end, I say closing mark tag. What this mark tag does is it sets the background color to yellow. File, save, go to browser and refresh. First some text is now having the background color yellow set. How is it working? How do I apply the same background color yellow to some text, the second some text without using the mark tag? I can take help of CSS property. Here I am going to write a span tag, opening span tag. Then I say here closing span tag. Here I am going to use a class. I say display marked double quotation. This class name I am going to copy. I go to style. I say dot control V in flower brackets. I say P A C K G R Y U N D background dash color. Y E L L O W yellow semicolon. File, save. I go to browser, say refresh. You can see that second sum text also has the background color yellow. Quite simple, right? Mark tag only allows you to set the background color yellow. Whereas if you use the CSS property, you can give any color, right? For example, I am going to say here opening span tag class. In double quotation, I say display red BG. Then I say here close. Here I'm going to say closing span tag. This display red BG class attribute value I copy. Here I say dot control V opening floor bracket, closing floor bracket. 
I say here background dash color of red semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the third sum text has the background color red as I told we can use the hexadecimal color value also here for red we use hash ff0000 I go to file say save go to browser and refresh you can see that there is no change if I want I can change it to green I say here 00 in this place I say ff file save go to browser and refresh now we have understood how we can use the color name and hex value let's try to use RGB I go to notepad here I'm going to say span class I say display green BG double quotation close here I say closing span tag let me replace this to FF00 so that we can see this in red color file save go to browser and refresh you can see we have the red background for the third text similarly for the fourth text I'm going to copy this from here I use it dot display green BG I say background dash color RGB function I'm using I give zero that means absence of red color 255 I want full presence of green color then zero absence of blue color file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the fourth sum text is having the green color similarly we can use RGBA function to use the RGBA function of course here I'm going to use span class equal to display blue BG close here I say closing span tag I'm going to copy this display blue BG from here I say dot display blue BG opening floor bracket closing floor bracket I say background dash color of RGBA in flower bracket I write 255 let's take 0 comma 0 comma 255 so I am telling absence of red absence of green only blue color should present full comma 1 in bracket semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the blue color is displayed as a background for the fifth sum text this last value 1 indicates the full opacity let's say here 0 0.5 if I say 0 0.5 you will see the blue color only but little bit reduced we are going to we are adding the transparency there file save go to browser and refresh you can see little bit fading happen right similarly I can reduce till down one file save go to browser and refresh you can see still more color is removed we can be able to see the background color now the background is white that we can be able to see right if you give zero you'll see full opacity that means full transparency save go to browser and refresh that's a default right by default the background color will be transparent we can give various value here based on the interest so here I say one that indicates full color visibility so if I say refresh you can see that even we can mix one color with another color for example I mix the blue and the green color let me add both 255 255 file save go to browser and refresh we get this mixture of the color that is cyan you can give various values try yourself by giving different values as I told that background color is not only used for setting the background color for some text we can assign to any HTML element for example if we have a div here I say a div opening div closing div I create one more div within it opening div and closing div for this div I use inline style so that I need not to go to embedded style and all here I say width of 100 pixels semicolon height of 100 pixel semicolon then I say background dash color of blue semicolon similarly for this div I set the style equal to width of 50 pixels then height of 50 pixels semicolon background dash color of maybe green semicolon double quotations
you can see I'm using the background color property now, right? File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that one blue div is there within that we have one green div. Let me go here. Instead of using the color names, I can use RGBA function and I can say here 0, 0, 0,0,255 for blue color 1. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that I am getting the same output. Here I am going to change this to RGBA. I say 0, 0,255,0,1 bracket close. Now file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that I am getting now the green color, quite different green color you can see. And also we can give here opacity. If I say here 0 0.5 opacity, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that I can be able to see the background color from this green box, right? That is how you can set the different opacity based on the interest, maybe 0 0.8 if I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that light opacity is added. You can observe it's very, very useful when you are creating more um, design oriented websites. RGBA function is very, very useful. I hope you guys have understood how we can use the background color property to apply the background color by using the color name, hex value, RGB function, RGBA function. By default, the background color of almost all HTML elements except the mark tag will be transparent. Mark tag will be having by default the background color yellow. Hope you guys have understood how we can use background color in our HTML documents. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. If you have any doubts, please do not hesitate to post comment. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.